Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we're trying out Top Spin 3, which for some reason I thought was a racing game, but I think is a tennis game. I just assumed, I don't know, Top Spin. Now that I know it's a tennis game, it makes sense, Top Spin, but it sounded like a racing game. I don't know. If it wasn't a racing game, I never would have guessed tennis. Yeah, that's just me. Anyway. Three of the tennis gods, guy, lady, and other guy are here. I'm sure these are well-known tennis folks. I don't keep up with tennis, so I have no idea who they are. They might as well be Mario, Luigi, and Peach. Um, all right, so in the world of Top Spin, um, let's just try an exhibition match and see how it goes. I'm guessing the controls are going to be rather complex, and I'll have to go into the school, but uh, you know, we'll see what we can do. You know, I feel like maybe this is one of the reasons why, like, I, I personally feel like the games I gravitate most towards, I said this a thousand times, it's like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, maybe a little PS1 that's pushing it a little bit, DOS. And it's kind of interesting because if you go back far enough, like the earliest DOS games in Commodore 64, if you didn't read the instructions in those games, you were totally effing lost you were just you were just out of it you couldn't play the games they're typically so obscure if you didn't read the not all of them but some were so obscure if you didn't read the instructions you're just lost but i feel like we're almost you know once you hit the ps3 and, and and ps4 era not all games but some games have reverted to that if you don't read the instructions you're just totally lost you're confused if you don't do the tutorial you won't be able to understand how to play there's like a sweet spot in the area of like NES and Super Nintendo where you could pick up and play a game and most of the mechanics were self-explanatory or taught as you played and you didn't need a tutorial and didn't need an instruction manual. I think I kind of took for granted that era and now that we're sort of out of it these days, whenever I pick up a game that really encourages me to play the tutorial or I'm not going to know how to play, it's like oddly is unappealing to me. I kind of feel like I, I specifically don't want to play the tutorial, you know? Like, you don't tell me to play a tutorial, I'm going to play the game. So anyway, long story short, I kind of want to jump in, because that's just who I am as a gamer. I'm the guy who jumps into a game and plays, and if it's so complex that I need a tutorial, not saying all games in these tutorials are bad, but definitely it is a thing where, like, I'm a little reluctant to give it a shot, but we'll sort of see how this goes. Anyway, kaboom. All right, that was pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so far we're doing okay. Ooh, oh, I did a shot under my legs. Is that, uh, is that regulation? Boom. I'm going to try a different button here. Okay, square does not paddle the ball. Hold on, let's... Can we check our... Oh, you know what I do like is where some uh, games have an options menu where you can uh, go to the controls. Even if they don't allow you to reassign the controller, at least they show you what the buttons are. And it would be really helpful here to know... Okay, I'm experimenting with buttons, guys. That's why I'm losing stupid shots. By the way, this match is sponsored by IBM, apparently, from the, uh, I got those little ball boys there. This match is sponsored by IBM, by the company branding there. Also, we got a heart rate monitor on. Ever wondered about the heart rate of a tennis guy as he played? Well, now you know. Boom. Okay, circle seems to be backhand. And then squares, like, overhead. Oh, fault. What do they say in tennis? We got like the fans shouting from the, <laughs> the rafters. Or the bleachers. I guess the rafters would they be hanging over the tennis match. Yeah. Whoa. Bam. Okay, so here's a question for tennis fans. Um... Does it make the game... So, if you're a tennis fan, do you like all the extra stuff they put into games? Or you, like, see the reactions of players and, like, hear the crowd and stuff? 
Or are you sort of like an old school gamer where you just want the controls and stuff to be really tight? So you could basically be playing like, uh, you know, a Mario tennis game. Um, yeah. And you don't need the applause. You don't need the photorealistic dudes. You just kind of want, you know, the tight gameplay. Not that, uh, not that Mario Tennis is like super realistic gameplay, but it's, it's, it's like, well, crafted gameplay, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess if you're a super fan of tennis, probably Mario Tennis is like sacrilege. It's like, it's like tennis in the way that Mario Kart is like NASCAR racing. Oh, you're done now, son. I'm gonna make you work for this. Boom. Get over there. Yeah. See, we were behind, but now we're catching up. And then we get to a point where they go, 40, love. Because in tennis, you can't have zero. I've always been perplexed at the weird uh, point system for tennis. It's like 15, 30, 40, and then you win. Um, but I saw a video that was talking about that it probably came from keeping score with clocks. As weird as that sounds. And so, like, in the, I guess in the olden days of tennis, they would use clocks to keep score somehow. So you'd have 15, 30... I don't know why they went to 40 instead of 45. The video probably explained it. Um, boom, you're done. <laughs> I have a very predictable style, which is hit to the left, then far to the right, then far to the left. Keep the guy running back and forth. I guess you could also sort of bonk it over the net so that they have to come running up. But, I mean, in tennis, your whole strategy is just hit it where the guy ain't. And so that's what I'm going to do. Boom. You're done. Oh, yeah? Can you get it again? Oh, you suck. He couldn't even hit it over the net. He's like, keep it together, Chuck. I'm like, yeah. You're going down. We're going to take you to Pound Town. Population you. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, didn't predict that, did you? Oh, you know where it's going. You know where it's going. Oh, you know where it's going, buddy. No. <laughs> oh, come on. How's this guy doing it? Oh, I hit the net. Unbelievable. Have uh, tennis players ever gotten so mad they've, like, whipped their racket into the stands? Like, injured somebody? Because I know tennis guys uh, and girls are famous for grunting when they hit the ball. Because they hit the ball with such ferocity. You know, such, like, animal strength in tennis. They have lots of rage issues. I wonder, like, what's the angriest a tennis player's ever been? Oh, you bastard! Oh, you dick. Five, six. Wait, is this even keeping track with the love system? Frankly, if somebody doesn't have love, I'm going to be very disappointed. Match point. Eat that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. See, that? that's exactly what a tennis player would yell. I'm really getting into it. He beat me. Straight up. Look at that crowd. It wasn't fair. I was trying to figure out the buttons. I'm like yelling up to the crowd. I didn't know that Square didn't do anything. I didn't know. All right, well, I'm disappointed the, the score isn't kept track using actual tennis, uh... Tennis numbers, frankly. Frankly, it destroys the whole illusion for me. They have, like, photorealistic faces, crowds, arenas, physics, weather effects, day, night, career mode. They got the wrong scoring system in there. What are they doing? 
Um, oh, by the way, this is a demo. That's why we're getting a little uh, tour de force of like what would be offered if we actually ponied up and got the real game. Considering this is a one-time play for my 1001 series, there ain't no way I'm buying this game. Even though sports games are notoriously cheap, why are sports games always the cheapest of cheap video games? I feel like as a kid, again, I wasn't super into sports, didn't play too many sports games. There's a couple I like, like Blades of Steel and stuff, NBA Jam. But sports games had this reputation of being dirt cheap all the time, and I feel like that almost slightly destroyed my interest in sports games because I was like, why are these things always cheap? Are they garbage? Like, you know, there were lots of sequels to Mario. There's Mario 1, 2, and 3, which is a lot. I, I mean, I know there's like 10 Maddens and stuff. Like, you can't really compare. But still, three Marios over the span of like four or five years. That's quite a few sequels, right? That's one every other year. Um, in the early days of sports games, at least... They, they weren't churning out sequels as fast as they do these days. So here's my question. Why were the sports games all super cheap? Mario 1 didn't get really cheap when Mario... Well, I guess Mario 1 was super plentiful. Maybe it did. It did. I don't know. Maybe the Mario games got cheap. I just... I always know if you ever went to a flea market or something like that, if you... Um, we're going to do a rematch, by the way. If you uh, saw any games that were cheap, it was always the sports games. I guess it's always just because they put out so many sports games uh, and people always wanted the latest rosters or whatever. I know that's a big thing for sports people, having the right rosters. They're like, well, if I'm going to play as the Leafs, i got to have a modern roster. So yeah, I just bought this game six months ago, but I'm going to buy it again now. And I'm going to pre-order the next one that's coming out because i got to have that roster, you know. Um, and I don't know. I, I guess there's more mechanics to it. Something like that, probably. See, for me, like the sports games I like, like Blades of Steel, NBA Jam, they had a bit of like edge to them. And Blades of Steel did not have accurate teams. I don't even think they had legit teams. They had cities. You could play as Toronto or Montreal, but they didn't have like the Leafs, right? So they didn't even have the right teams. NBA Jam was just two random guys got paired up, you know, bro style and went out on the field and they just did like crazy boom shakalakas all across the arena. So it's like, you know, that... That was, um, you know, oh, you're done. That was crazy. Um, it's sort of like the the more realistic the sports game, almost the less appealing I find it. Like uh, the sports game, sports in quotes, that I think I, I discovered during uh, having a YouTube channel that I have loved the most is Brutal Sports Football, which isn't even a football game, first of all. It's more like a rugby soccer game almost. And it's a game of a bunch of sci-fi Vikings hacking each other's limbs and faces off. And it's great! It is it is truly amazing. I am very sad that game never came out on Super Nintendo, never came out on Sega Genesis, nothing like that. It was an Atari uh, Jaguar game that we played it on. Now we lost again. I'm trying to think of the other sports games that I really like. Because there's a handful. There's a handful. Um, is there a baseball game? There might not be a baseball game. Vault. Um, I don't know if there's a tennis game either. Oh, Super Spike V-Ball. That's a good one. That's another one where it's like, doesn't have realistic teams or anything. Um, I guess there is a beach volleyball circuit or national league or something. Um, oh, come on. But... Yeah, I, I, I don't know about it. It's, it's probably shown like... I remember as a kid on Saturday afternoons, they used to sometimes show the strongman shows, and it'd be like guys like chopping logs and stuff. How fast can you chop a log and things like that? So like the lumberjack strongman games. I feel like beach volleyball would have been shown on, on that, you know? There we go. Finally. That guy's like, I'm worthless. I wonder if the characters in this game have personalities. So you can select a tennis player who is like the rudest, most, you know, callous dude. Just totally rude. Oh, God, get it. Why didn't you move? I was holding left. My guy just dawdled. Guess he didn't think this was a very important 
match. Didn't want to scuff his sneakers dodging to the left. You know, say what you will about my opponent, though. The guy is ripped. I bet he gets laid like crazy. Rock and bod. Sweet face. Oh, my guy didn't even move towards it! I was too caught up in those dreamy eyes of my opponent. Plus, I mean, I'm sure the other- I'm sure he's rich, you know, he's- He's a crazy athlete or whatever. Rich, famous, muscly. Yeah, you know he does well with the ladies. Whatever your name is. We'll call you Ladies Man Mitch. Boom. Boom! Ladies man Mitch, though. Sometimes we gotta take one from ya. He's like, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe it. Hey, let's watch a replay. Here you go, Mitch. Whatever your name is. Sayonara, sucker! <laughs> oh, you're a mile away from that, dude. Mile away. Bonk. And bonk. Oh, you suck. Hey, here's my birth date, my height, and my weight. <laughs> Randomly. That was a bit of a trick shot with the ball there. Alright, Mitch, here we go, man. Oh, trick shot under the legs. I wonder if that's like a real sh maneuver. Oh, behind the back. What am I doing? Oh, God. This is like the longest match that we've done. Oh, we won it, too. I was about to say, frankly, Mitch, I I'd like to see how long we can keep this going. People are like, tear him apart! Kill him! <laughs> what are they shouting? Up. Alright, let's do this, dude. Oh, you thought that was a fault, baby? There ain't no fault here. Ugh. Oh! I'm just alternating X and circle. I don't really know how to do specific moves, but... I'm winning. So clearly what I'm doing is working. Match point. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, dude! Oh, my guy's a little pissed, you see that? Alright, here we go. Time to crush him. You know what's interesting is my parents loved tennis when I was a kid. My- Oh, come on! I- what?! I was pressing buttons, don't think I wasn't pressing buttons, my guy just froze, the pressure got to him. Did I just lose? Or do we have one more? Yeah, cause it's tied up on the last point, he has to have advantage. So you have to basically win by two. Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh wait, does that mean I win? I don't know what's happening. I thought it was match point. Anyway, my parents, grandparents, they all used to love tennis, watched it all the time when I was a kid. Never got into it myself. Never liked playing it. Hated holding the racket. Wasn't good at holding it. It's not a fan of tennis. What's kind of interesting is, like, of all the sports I don't play, I, I've said this before, golf is the one that I get the most. Golf courses are beautiful places. <laughs> I would I would just go for a walk on a golf course on a sunny Saturday afternoon. So I, I totally get watching golf. Totally makes sense to me. Oh, shh. Yeah. Um, like, on a Saturday afternoon, throw golf on in the background, get, like, green hills and sand and water and... 
I don't know. Like, I, I never watched golf as a kid, never really watched it growing up, never played it. I get the appeal of golf, though. I, I do kind of get it. Uh, tennis doesn't have that same appeal to me, where, like, I don't, know, I don't dislike having it on or anything like that. I would never watch it personally. My parents always used to watch it, grandparents used to watch it. But I guess it has less of that sprawling nature feel because you don't see the, like, golf course and stuff in a tennis match because it's a tennis match. Why would you? Um, so I guess for me, it's not the sport, but the location of the sport. In golf, I get. Um, eat that, buddy. Eat that, buddy. Make you work for it. Eat that, buddy. Eat that, buddy. You can't make that. Nobody can make that. It's inhuman. I think we just won. I think we crushed his dreams. Here, shake my hand. I'm a terrible sport. I would never do it. You know what? Okay, other sad thing. They put in ball boys. Those boys aren't even moved. The match is over. What are they still posed there for? Stand up, boys. Your job is done. Also, never do the ball boys move the entire game. At least animate them. Have them come and grab the ball if the ball hits the net. All right, we actually won one. So I think we are Federer. Is it Roger Federer? People are going to make fun of me in the comments. I don't know tennis, guys. What, what do you want me to say? I had one unforced error, seven wins, no double faults, no aces. Zero out of zero breaking points. You can't divide zero by zero. That's undefined. You can't divide anything by zero. That's infinity. But zero divided by zero is especially undefined. Don't you know anything, tennis? Te keeping score by clocks? Dividing by zero? What kind of sport is this? Violates all the known rules of mathematics. <laughs> Alright, well, this was Top Spin 3. Um, it's a tennis game. You know? Don't know what else to say about it, really. Um, I mean, it's a, a good-looking tennis game again. You know what? All right, let's 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 crack open the book and let's see. Why did the book pick this game? Um, to all the people who do play sports and tennis games, you might have looked at that and obviously understood why. I don't know the context of tennis games very well, so I don't really understand what's special about that. Seemed, seemed okay. If you like tennis games, I could see people playing that. But anyway, I'm flipping to the right page in the book here. And the book says, With simplicity and hidden depths, much like those of the great Mario Tennis, Virtua Tennis seem indomitable. Uh, but after a rally that's lasted six games between them, the Top Spin series that has gone from underdog to favorite, indeed, uh, Pam takes its reputation so seriously that is third incarnation, despite the precipitous learning curve in its, uh, of its predecessor, creates an entirely new game from scratch. It's a game uh, that newcomers simply cannot play, and neither, for that matter, can anyone else. Not at first, anyway. What? It's a game that newcomers simply cannot play, and neither, for that matter, can anyone else? As in real tennis, power, position, and angle are vital ingredients to top spin shot. Isn't to say they're the difference between a stunning cross-court winner and a simple return. Here, the difference between a ball going into the net and into the stalls or into orbit. One of the four face buttons has to be held and then released as you approach the ball. A tweak of the analog stick fixing the direction. There's no gauge to indicate too much or too little. No margin for error. Make no mistake, this is a career sport. You can't expect any success without a lot of practice. All right, a very intricate and detailed sports game that nobody can play that is too hard for anyone to ever learn, according to the book. Great. It's one of the games you should play before you die. I don't know, Top Spin 3, maybe you love it. If you love it, fill me in in the comments down below what makes it so amazing. I say for this one, if you like tennis games, give it a shot. If not, whatever, play Mario Tennis. Those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of Top Spin 3 here? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys. Whatever you think of my commentary of the game and the game itself, hopefully you enjoyed yourself. If you did, don't forget to like the video, and we will catch you in the next one. Until next time, guys. Peace.